<laughs> Welcome everyone and tell, tell us where you are from in the chat. Uh, let us know where you're from so we know you can hear us okay. Looks like uh, you can hear us okay. We've got uh, good morning from Hong Kong, Dennis. We have, wow, we have everywhere coming on quick. We are up <laughs> over uh, what? Virginia, Toronto, my goodness, Singapore, Maine. Breaking well, it, it up. Is, it is great to have everyone. Um, this is going to be a, a fun 12 weeks, isn't it, Dennis? We're looking forward to it. Absolutely. And when you start thinking about the master unfranchise owner master class, that's some serious business from our standpoint. And I'm excited about having the opportunity to work with so many people committed to move their business forward. Yeah, I am too. And it's great to see this much interest in what we're talking about. Now, obviously, I am here with our executive vice president of sales, uh, Dennis Franks. I'd like to introduce him. He's a obviously had huge success in our business and one of our, our founding on franchise owners, one of our owners, one of our, our executive vice president with the company. So Dennis, it is a pleasure to be training with you. Um, you live, breathe, eat, uh, everything that goes with that, uh, the Master UFO program. So this will be fun. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. It's good to be here tonight. And I just want to take a moment and introduce Mr. Jim Winkler, our Vice President of Sales, also an accomplished builder proven uh, in his unfranchised business results and helping many people get to the next level. He's trained globally, and it's such a pleasure to have him as my partner as part of the executive sales team making a difference around the world. So, Jim, it's going to be a great 12 weeks. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. And, you know, if you guys do a good job, we may do a little dance for you at the end, but not at the beginning, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. You know what? That I think that's gotten more views than I think in the whole time I was with uh, Market America over the 29 years. We, we but, have 12, uh, weeks, I, 12 weeks to work on our moves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just want to compliment you on your effort of, you know, getting that rhythm down, you know, really working on it. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back at International Convention to talk more about that. Uh, but, right. you know, I, wanted, I, I do want to take a moment and, and talk, Jim, with you about why did we call this a master class? Yeah. And, you know, we've all heard to become a master at anything, you needed to spend at least 10 hours of focus, 10,000 hours of focus time to get to where you can be called a master. And in my eyes, if we're going to be talking to a master class, I want everybody to know, and this is not to make you feel uncomfortable, but there are no excuses over these next 12 weeks. What you're doing is you're coming with a group of winners that are committed to implement and reach the master on franchise owner status qualify or requalify. What do you think about, Jim, when you think about a master's class? You know, when you're thinking of a master's class, it, it, it is a higher level. It, it is uh, going to take more effort and it's going to have bigger rewards. And that's really why we wanted to go through the, that this way. So we're going to ask you to make that commitment to us for 12 weeks. And if some of you are new and that seems overwhelming, it's okay. Um, everybody's going to be at different levels that are going to be in here. And uh, it's really going to come down to what you want out of it. But we're going to approach it as if you want to take that as a master's class, as if you want to succeed and grow this business where you want to get it to. Right. It's not going to be about you winning or losing during this 12 weeks. It's going to be about the amount of effort and the learning curve that you will be going through on this. And, you know, when I think about how we have put this together and what we're going to be asking, I think it's become very apparent that we are working with exceptional people starting tonight moving forward. So I'm excited, you know, uh, talking through the agenda and curriculum, you know, I think there's a lot to offer and I think we can take this crew to another level for sure. Well, let's, let's jump into it. I'm going to share my screen, Dennis. And uh, let's move into 
talking about this. And, you know, it's going to be a 12-week uh, a session, as we've talked about, uh, while we do this. And, you know, uh, we talked about a curriculum. You just mentioned that. You take a look at, you know, this week is really the why, the what, and the how. And I know you and I spent some time talking about what we wanted week one to really focus on and, and why, and really going through each one of these weeks and putting it together and how we're going to get there. And, and they'll blend together somewhat because we're always focused on, on, on building, but each one will have its own unique area as well. Absolutely. And, you know, when talking about the why of the master unfranchise owner, you know, throughout our career, from the very beginning, people said, always used to say, when we sat down, you know, what is the potential? What can I earn? And then what do I have to do to earn that? And that was something that we needed to pursue. And the only way you could pursue that is by actually going through the history of building successful unfranchised businesses. Yeah, that, that's right. And taking a, a look at what has been proven not what we hope would happen, but what has happened based on what people did. So as you take a look at this, you'll see we'll focus on different things like whether it be retailing in base 10 one week uh, and the tools to use with that, whether it be IBV and how we can increase that. Because again, that's part of hitting master UFO, uh, whether it's the prospecting, qualifying, sponsoring. And you know, as you look at each one of these, you might see an area you think, oh, I'm pretty good in that already. What we're going to try to do is put it together. So basically, by doing each one of these, there's no way you can miss hitting Master UFO if you put the rest of the effort in. I also love the fact that we've added earning commissions faster and basically talking to that specifically, helping those that have not yet cycled in the business to be able to, and if you have cycled, to cycle more frequency. Uh, frequent, frequently. And I love the, the troubleshooting uh, and conversational marketing that we talk to. Uh, I, I just think that's great. And of course, how powerful is it to talk about follow-up and how to close? Uh, I think that's so, so very important. And of course, how do we take our first new partner through the first 90 days and what that could mean to your business? So it's going to be an exciting 12 weeks for sure. Yeah, it is. And, and, you know, that 90 days, we, we, as we were putting up together the curriculum, we said, okay, there are going to be a lot of new people coming in. So now we got to make sure everybody knows exactly what to do with them. And then from there, it's all about leadership and leading by example, which you guys will do. So, you know, the why, the what, and the how. Um, you know, let's talk, Dennis, a little bit about what, why should people hit this? I mean, we're going to share some numbers that we shared at, at World Conference. You betcha. And you know what? It's it, it, You think uh, unfranchised owners just are thinking we want to push you to do something, jump through certain hoops. But understand, this is a systemized approach to successful unfranchised business. What does that mean? What is considered success? Well, business in general is all about profitability. You go into business to be profitable, to make a difference. You got to bring something with you that people need and want. And so what is the path to follow? When you're in business, there are certain things that have to be done so that you can accomplish the goals that you set. Um, you know, so, so very important to remember. The systemization, Jim, to me, the, the power in the structure has always been the greatest thing as far as I was concerned, building with a discipline of getting to a successful place financially. Yeah, I, I would I would agree. And, uh, you know, but by going through this and breaking it down and looking at what can we do, um, this will be something as you bring new teammates on that will be great to put them on, even if they come in, you know, week four, week five, week six, why don't we get them started? One of the things Dennis and I are going to make sure these are going to be recorded. Uh, we're going to have a playlist put together because we know things can happen where people miss a week or pe new people come in. So we have the ability uh, for people to catch up on that because not only do you need the why uh, and the what, but you need the how, right? And this is what we're hoping to provide you with is the how. Uh, and to keep it in, you know, anything we put emphasis on, I think, Dennis, we've said this forever, anything we put emphasis on, uh, it happens more often. So for 12 weeks, there's an emphasis on master UFO and really getting yourself in that position. You know, that how, you know, I just want to talk about the how for a moment, because over the years and through traveling literally hundreds of thousands of miles, 
It's not that our unfranchised owners don't have the talent. It's truly just the refinement based on the repetition and the consistency for them to go from good to great. And so this is a big part of how. So pay close attention. What you're talking between Jim and I, we're talking over 50 years experience in building unfranchised businesses. And so please respect that as we move forward. Yeah, 50 years, Dennis, how can that be? Wasn't it just yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, I tell you, let me see, Dennis. I want to check and see if I can put on, as we're doing this, one of the things I want to look at, I've, we've had a uh, comment asking if we could do closed captioning. I think I just got it. I'm hoping that will go great. I did get it. Uh, so hopefully that uh, helps out with some of the people who are asking us uh, for that. Okay. Uh, Dennis, why don't you lead us on this one and sure. then let's jump into it because we know we got a lot, a lot to cover that we want to get to everyone. Absolutely. So both Jim and I are very proud of our unfranchise owner pins and the jacket around that unfranchise owner pin represents the number of years. Just so you know, there are 20 years experience when you get a jacket fully covered with those special uh, crystals that we have. And also when you start seeing the blue sapphire crystals, you will see 21, 22, 23. So if you ever see someone with a UFO pin with an entirely surrounded blue stones, you know they've been doing this for 40 years. Um, rather interesting. But the unfranchised, master unfranchised owner is a structured system that identifies and quantifies what successful unfranchised owners are doing or have done to be successful. So again, this is something we haven't made up. This is something that we track on a regular basis based on information that is gathered from you, our unfranchised owners. And Dennis, each time they do receive uh, one of the crystals that comes because they hit UFO on a master on franchise under three out of four quarters during that year. It's a very big achievement. I know I've seen some people post that on different on social media when they hit it. And uh, boy, you, you really can be proud of that. that. That's a heck of an accomplishment when you do it. Absolutely. All right, Dennis, why don't you we'll lead Let's off see. here and we'll go through. Let's go through what it takes. Make sure we, we've got this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about sort of supports the mission of our company, and that is to create the economy of the future based on you and I, each and every individual that becomes an unfranchised owner, and that is basically aggregating uh, you know, the, the products that are purchased. So when we start, we start by every quarter completing the shopping annuity assessment. Now, granted, it won't change every quarter, but you can update it with new events or upcoming uh, anniversaries or birthdays or new friends that you've met, or you can add to new products that you've experienced. The shopping annuity assessment is nothing more than allowing you to see all the different ways that you can use our exclusive brands and our shopping online, our shopping annuity brands, and of course, everything from our super IBV products to our shop local stores that we work with. So the shopping annuity assessment is something that you want to do right away in the first couple weeks of the quarter. Yeah, and then, and then redo it as Dennis said, and you know, we're going to spend a, a, one of our sessions on how to generate more IBV. But really that assessment it gets you in a position. We always tell people, we don't want you to buy more than you need. We want you to buy what you are already buying through our business, right? Through your business. And that's really important to think of. Um, Lisa and I uh, went to visit one of our sons in San Diego on Saturday, just for a, a, a overnight. And uh, as we were landing, she's like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm putting all the, I'm clicking uh, activate on every shop local, because if we go out to eat somewhere or to get drinks and it happens to be one of our stores, I want to make sure I get credit for it. Um, someone had told Lisa about a product they had uh, purchased, a service um, recently, and she went on Groupon. I just thought I wanted to tell you this, Des, it was great. So the, the person telling her paid 500 for it. Lisa went on Groupon and found it for 200 and that same exact 
service, same exact uh, office, same exact person for $297. Now, why is that important? Because she took, we went we bought, went to shop.com and we bought three $100 gift certificates for Groupon at 7% we got. You add those on Groupon and you automatically get Groupon bucks. So then we went to Groupon, we paid for it with that, we got another 6.6%. So that item ended up to be 13.6%. And people say, well, I, you know, I just can't seem to do this. You can, but you got to really think on it. And you got to look for different ways to structure and, and benefit from it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and one, one real quick thing, Jim, is that when you work for your shopping annuity, remember, this is a process, folks. It's not just going in the first month that you're in the business and throwing everything away and buying exclusive brands and so forth. It's basically as you run out of products, you're going to try your exclusive brands first. And if we don't have a brand for what you're looking for, you go to shop.com and get it that way, or you go to our shopping annuity. So it is a process. Remember that. That's right. And then, you know, number two, have a subscription to the unfranchised management system. We should all have that. I don't think we'll spend a lot of time. That just allows us to run our business. You, if you're on with us tonight, we're looking at you and saying you're, you're the people who want to grow this. So I'm sure you already all have that. There's such advantages to it, Dennis, like just recently, you know, adding in all the things like hurdler. It's tax time right now. And I want to make sure everybody has used our, our, our uh, program in their hurdler. Uh, which was the doctor before, and it's a great tax program. Lisa's been working on uh, compiling everything we need to fin finalize the taxes, but that's part of your UFMS, having that. You get that for free. That's a couple hundred dollar program by itself, so make sure you have that subscription. And remember, uh, as we keep moving forward, there's more and more services added to the UFMS, so it's never you know, just remains one type of service. There are multiple services that you get with that. Uh, the next point of generating some 1500 business volume in product in a respective quarter, everyone that's on today, there is no exception to the fact that you need to be doing greater than 500 business volume each and every month or 1500 business volume or more. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may think that's a lot of business volume, but it really isn't if you have a customer base and you are using our exclusive brands. And the bottom line is you've got to think customers. We are a retail driven business. It's so, so very, very important. But this 1500 in business volume does come in combination with your personal purchases along with your registered preferred customers paying ID. So in that combination, you should have no problem in hitting that 1500 business volume. Yeah, and I, and I love that. That falls right into our, our base 10, uh, seven strong. We always talk about Dennis and, you know, really what's it come out to 125 BV a week, I think would put us at 500 basically a, a month. And that's, that's setting that goal. You know, what can I do right now? I know, one of the things um, in one of the accountability groups I'm running right now, we're doing a bonuses for retailing this week. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to get everybody out to a big jump with the master UFO program. And um, I'm contacting, I, I have 200 some customers and I'm contacting, I have an email list put together and I'm sending out an email to each one of them thanking them for being a customer and, and reminding them of a couple of our new products and just keeping in contact with them. I think it's so important, but that's, you know, the 1500 as Dennis said, we should all be doing that with our re with our retail, such a, a, a good thing uh, to talk about. And 300 IBV, you know, when we start looking at that, that's where it comes into what Dennis and I were talking about, whether it be shop local, one card stores, um, uh, super IBV items. It, it really just becomes making sure you're doing as much as you can for you and, and planning it out. I know, Dennis, uh, one of your favorite products is the Immune Plus. Yes, absolutely. And it's something oftentimes that with my good customers, you know, I'm going to include one as a recommendation and in how to use that. But what the Immune Plus has 
is that combination of not only vitamin C, vitamin D, but it has the zinc in it and also has the reishi mushroom in it. It's a brilliant product. Uh, it's uh, purchase price is so reasonable with 15 IBV. Um, the other thing that I would say is I'm finding that customers are now buying our shopping annuity brands off of shop.com too. Uh, so that was something new that we're seeing. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's really important for us when we think of Master UFO, because we can use our customers to have that ability to be able to get our customers shopping from shop.com. And one of the best ways to do that is make sure they download Shop Buddy and then to really reinforce that if they do purchase through uh, our shop.com site or a partner store that those dollars can be used towards their BV products. I've always found people who like our BV products, our exclusive products were easier to get to shop from shop.com and our partner stores or download shop buddy, it really helps. So that, that's great. Absolutely. You know, and when you think about that, we all can do it, we can all build up to it. And it's something that between you and your clientele or customers, you'll be able to make that number happen. Uh, also, when we start talking about personally sponsored one qualified and active unfranchised owner in a respected quarter. And, you know, I talk to a lot of people who tell me, Dennis, I've had everything but my personally sponsored. Well, from this day forward, we're going to fix that so that you never have a problem getting at least that one personally sponsored. But there is something that you have to remember. Every personally sponsored unfranchised owner that you register really should be that person plus two and their person plus two because we want to work with every personally sponsored to build out base 10, seven strong as illustrated in your getting started guide. So one personally sponsored unfranchised owner qualified through the process should be net seven unfranchised partners in your organization. So it becomes important to make sure we are doing those, um, um, those evaluations and getting people in front of it. And, you know, after we do that, one of the next major steps is making sure we attend or conduct a new unfranchised owner training, a basic five training once per quarter, and to make sure we uh, attend or conduct an executive certification tra uh, a training uh, once per calendar year. So again, as we look at this, what are we covering? We've talked about retailing, right, Dennis? We've talked about That's IBV. We've talked about sponsoring. Now we're talking about training. Those are some pretty important topics. And the next one is, I, I think, as important as anything that you're going to talk about. Right. Well, the one thing that's important is that you earn. And of course, in this one portion is that if you're not earning yet during that quarter, you're able to go through the basic five diagnostic test, which is a brilliant way to evaluate, are you doing correct, the action items, and are you working with your team with those action items? So it really helps you identify where you can improve your efforts. Now, once you get to at least $300 in commissions per month or 900 in commissions for a respective quarter, you no longer have to take the diagnostic unless you choose to. But what you're going to find is once you start mastering the unfranchise owner program, it's gonna start duplicating and imprinting within your organization. Very powerful way to make sure you can check up, you're doing all the results producing activities and imprinting correctly. That's right, and we're gonna spend a session on the diagnostic test. And I know uh, we're looking at, again, updating that. We update it uh, every so often to make sure it stays current. So by the time we get to that section, we will have it 100% updated again uh, and used, you know, that used to be, and, and Dennis, you, in fact, were my first, uh, if you remember, when I went to a moving up seminar, it was, I think, you and JR and uh, it might have been Kevin. Kevin, and you, I think it was Kevin, you, yeah. you trained uh, myself and a team of 11 I brought with me, including my mom, if you remember that. Uh, we had some fun with that. Uh, my mm -hmm. mom, Dennis said we had to learn about the, the what is it. And my mom said, isn't that why we're paying you? <laughs> 
Well, you got to have fun. <laughs> you got to have fun. But yeah, you know, and buying tickets as well is so important. The three tickets that you need to have to go to a major event. So all these things add up to that Master You Up. And this program has been put together to cover everything that will grow your business. Uh, and is really a great, great way to take a look at it. Dennis, where can we find this? Well, that's very important for all of you to know. Uh, in the past, everything was manual. And now we have the availability to go right online in our unfranchised management system under organization, in reports, under management, and be able to locate everything that you need to track your master unfranchise owner program. So at any time, you can come in and physically see how much BV, how much IBV your organization is tracking. It also has the ability for which quarter that you're working in. So you can go back, you can go forward, and you can also work with your partners and identify how they're doing if they're teaming up with you. So again, it's going to track your BV, your IBV, as well as your tickets and sponsoring. But also manually, when you go to trainings, you have to physically write in who your trainer was, the date of the training and the location, That's and right. then it's saved automatically. So there is a save button on this when you're entering in there. And then finally, you know, it's just going to let you know if you've met the requirement of commissions or so forth, or taken the diagnostic. So <clears throat> this is making it really easy for you. So don't worry about the paperwork, just stay focused on the actual things that have to be done to reach master and franchise owner. That's right. And you know, you can even where it says view qualified orders that will pop open so you can look to make sure what's there. But the key is if we get in this habit, what Dennis and I are really hoping is not that you just barely get there. We want you to start crushing master UFO. We want to make it so that it becomes such a part of what we do, what we teach, what we are. We're going to talk a little bit about culture a little bit later, that it becomes part of our market America culture to hit that and that we're getting that. So all that is laid out as Dennis said so perfectly. Let's keep moving then. Let's talk about a commitment, Dennis. Are you committed? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all in. I'm with, all in. I'm with you all for the next 12 weeks. Yeah, we're wearing the jersey. So if you go right now to unfranchise.com, you go to the uh, sales training area, the support materials, you type in masterclass, you type in MUFO, uh, you're going to pull up a commitment page and we're going to ask you to fill it out. Uh, you can see what it is right here. Put your name in there. I, Jim Winkler, am making a commitment to myself. Uh, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to date it. I'll put my email on and we want you to email it to masterufo at marketamerica.com. Uh, we want to know who's wearing the, who, who is going to wear the jersey with Dennis and I. You yeah. know, who's going to make the same commitment? As Jared would say, jump in the wheelbarrow with us for the next 12 weeks. Uh, so that is right there again. It's under support materials. Uh, download that and send that to the uh, master UFO at marketamerica.com. Uh, okay. And uh, let's talk about accountability, Dennis, because part of what you and I decided on this is we have some accountability with this as well. We're going to try to give you a number of different things to do. And again, in our back office, we have that accountability. And uh, as Dennis ran you through before, a lot of people don't know where this is, Dennis, right? Right, right. Well, you know what? I'm a stickler about, as you are, with accountability because you can't, you know, if you don't measure it, you don't know how well you're doing. So this is something that we put in to help you and your team under organization, under reports, then you find weekly accountability. Now, when you hit weekly accountability, what you're going to get is a series of questions, okay? And in doing so, Jim, if you go to the next slide, um, what in doing so is you're going basically talk about audios or videos that you've reviewed and what you learned from them. You're gonna talk about doing specific things in regards to following up with people, how Gold many names? Payments. Yep. Put on your uh, possibilities list. Did you do your trial runs? Did you basically go out with your samplings and so forth? These are all there to complete. Now, 
when you do go through this, if you what or when you follow up, we want to know who you followed up with, and we want to know the dates and the outcome. Now you can only post three on this, but the bottom line is that's a good indication that you're making your follow-up calls. Now, when you're doing an evaluation, please put the name of the individual, the date that you did it, and the outcome. We want to see if you're booking that follow-up appointment and not just letting it go. It's critical that you get to that next stage uh, of your program there. And again, when you're going through each of the different things, what meetings you're going through, it's all part of what we want to do. You'll be able to figure it and you'll submit it to once again, that master UFO at marketamerica.com address. That will be where you submit your accountability to us. Yeah, that, that's right. And guys, f understand that this accountability is not for Dennis and I, it's for you. It's to be able to measure, to monitor, to know you've got something. Yes, we will review. We will look at the different uh, emails that are coming in. But really, we wanted it to be so that you could say, okay, I can measure and I can see what I'm doing that, uh, how I'm doing with this, and put some numbers to it. And all we're looking for, you know, if you say, I'm so far from Master UFO, how am I ever going to get there? Well, you know, if you get a little bit better during these 12 weeks, that's great. And if you get a lot better, that's fantastic. But you'll be able to measure it by sending that in. So we've got a couple things we'll be sending in. And this is where Dennis and I were talking about culture. We want this to become the culture of, of your team. The culture, when they say, hey, I'm part of uh, Sandy Rodriguez's team, that culture is master UFO. If I'm part of Shannon Goodberry's team, that culture is everybody hits master UFO. You know, that is really what we want people to understand because that culture will lead to really what the new people come in and they just expect to do. That's one of the things that I live by, how you, whatever you put into motion stays in motion. And this is really important. A lot of times when we talk about for myself, it's been base 10, seven strong, really following the guidelines of getting people to earn, basically master on franchise on a program. And that basically includes the training, the buying of three tickets. It's automatic team. That's the kind of thing that you create those expectations right from day one. Many of us qualify, but we don't tell individuals what they have to do to be successful before they come in the business. So part of the qualifying right. is not just putting people in front of the plan or using the product. They got to know what to do to get what they want at the same time. That's right. That's right. And so this will put it all together. So we've put together a couple things just to make sure we've got uh, a correct idea of where we're going. And again, there's the email. I see people in the chat asking for the email. It's masterufo at marketamerica.com. That is the fourth time we've put it up. So we will now expect you to have it. <laughs> so we've got our commitment sheet, which you saw earlier, which we can download from unfranchise.com. We'd like you to do a names list of 100 people. I don't know about you, Dennis. Every time I do a names, new names list, I feel like it's, uh, it's invigorating to what I'm going to do with the business because it, it gives me opportunity to see again maybe some things I haven't been thinking about. Totally. And, you know, the most important thing about a names list, it's a shortcut. So if you have time, you can make a call. So include the email address or the mobile phone number and how you know the person. So if you have a moment, you can make a call or of course utilizing some of the tools that we have to communicate with those individuals. So, so important. Yeah, and then you know, next is a goal statement and what you wanna accomplish over the next 12 weeks. So what do we mean by that? Well, what do we wanna do in 12 weeks? What are you hoping to accomplish? Well, I would say one of them should be, we should all hope to hit master UFO. Some of you may look to do even more. Maybe it's to sponsor more than one person. Maybe it's my goal is to sponsor two people in the 12 weeks. Maybe my goal is to retail $2,000 or $3,000, whatever number you pick. But, you know, make a goal statement and then put down some goals for your next 12 weeks you'd like to accomplish. And then what we want you to do, besides sending them in to masterufo at marketamerica.com, put them somewhere where you see them and track them week by week, okay? Mm -hmm. um, by doing that, along with your accountability sheet, you are going to be putting the business in front of you and ready to go. And these are going to be the best 12 weeks you've had in a very, very long time. 
Absolutely. And, you know, by doing this, it's good discipline. It's good work and what we're doing. You know, uh, I want to jump back real quick to some of the questions. Uh, of course, there's always going to be questions on this. Just checking if this recording session will be made available to us. Absolutely. Give us about 24 to 36 hours and it'll be out. Uh, we'll be pushing it out there. Uh, what is the email address? You said it again. It's going to masterufo <laughs> at marketamerica.com. And uh, I'd like to know how those numbers, especially the executive coordination to international field, achieving two times per year, how do you arrive at those numbers? And Alicia, you know, in regards to audios to listen to, you have an unfranchised media app. And if you go into your back office, underneath your help and training, you're gonna see unfranchised media. And there'll be a lot of audios that you can choose from. And don't forget your learning center too. That also has many things that you can work with. That's right. Okay. You know, and again, as we, we get ready to, to wrap up this first session, you've got your homework on there. I hope we answered uh, the questions that, that popped out for everybody as well. This will be where we'll be going forward. Um, again, everything can be sent to masterufo at marketamerica.com. You can find the commitment sheet again at unfranchise.com to your back office. Uh, if you go to uh, the support materials and just type in um, MUFO or type in uh, master class or master UFO, it should pull up there. We tested it before this to make sure you could get it easily. But we're going to have a lot of fun. As someone said, Dennis, they'd love to know how you do a coring with, with fun and business. And basically, Dennis and I just dance and the fun happens. <laughs> well, you know what? That camaraderie comes in your coring from doing the business. I want to make this very clear. You know, it's a whole lot easier to have fun with people who are doing the business both experiencing the successes and failures of the day. You see, everything isn't always the success, but you always have to understand that everything that you do contributes to the learning curve. And as long right. as you evaluate it and improve the next time, you're going to be better each and every time. But I, I find so much humor in building the business and the different types of people that we talk to. And the experience and that we have. Kevin always used to say to me, Dennis, building the business is more fun than reality TV. <laughs> and uh, because of the things that happen, you know, and I, I would agree with them. And when you build it, you know, you have a great time. Um, and But you, you build some great relationships and you build something that's going to be here for uh, the long term with you. As it has for Dennis and I, as he mentioned, over 50 years between the two of us now uh, with Market America, building this business. Uh, working with our teammates, working with, with, with you uh, to grow this. And we're excited to take it uh, on for the next 12 weeks and make a difference. I hope you guys have liked what we're starting with. I, I want you to make that commitment. I want you to get that, that homework done right off the bat. And uh, let, let's get after this and, and let's have a lot of uh, fun with it. And, and I see some things coming in on the, the chat. Hey, your goals are your goals. If it sounds selfish, th that's okay. It's your goal, okay? Mm -hmm. And, and always remember that. I remember one time at a master, um, uh, 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 what am I calling it? A, uh, why am I forgetting, Dennis, what I do on the boat? <laughs> oh, the moving up seminar. <laughs> I'm, having a, I'm so in the master UFO, I can't think of moving up seminar. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Someone said to me, they said, um, they said, you know, I feel bad because my goal is to, uh, speak in front of people. And I said, why would you feel bad? And then I happened to be training with Stacy White. And she said, I'll tell you what, that was my goal from the beginning. I, I, I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to do things. So in this business, I wanted to train. I wanted to teach. I wanted to be in front of people. You got to remember, it's always your goals and where you want to go. With it. We all have different goals uh, to hit it. So have fun. Let's build. We'll see you next week at the exact same time. Uh, Dennis, any end ending comments, or should we say goodbye and let people get to work on their names list? <laughs> no, my, my only comment is, is let's do this. You're in a master class now. You're with the big boys, and there are no excuses, only results. Let's take our swings, and let's make it happen. All right, everyone. Thanks for spending the time with us. We look forward to seeing everything you send in, and we look forward to seeing you again 
uh, next week, and we'll have some great results already happening. Take care. All right.